we went to Malham Cove and we're inviting you to join us as we take on the 400 steps to the top before walking on to Gordale Scar and ending our day at Janet's Foss. Come along and join the adventure. So we have just arrived to our next location, which is Malham. Yes. So we have been here before. We came here on a road trip last year yep. um, as part of like a day driving around the Yorkshire Dales. And it's somewhere we've been wanting to come back to for a long, long time. Because um, there was a bit of a challenge we didn't want to do last year, but we're going to do it this year. We've got the whole day here this year. So mm -hmm. we are at Malham Cove. And not only are we going to stand at the bottom and look at it this year. We're going to walk up the 400 steps. Yes. That are going to kill us. 400 steps. But not only are we, we're not going to stop there either. Once we get to the top of Malham Cove, we're then going to continue on through to Gordale Scar. Mm -hmm. And we're not even stopping there. We're then going to backtrack, go down a different part to Janet's Foss, which is a pretty little waterfall and wild swimming spot. We may dip our feet. However, the weather is on our side at the moment. It's sunny, it's quite warm. Mm -hmm. Later on this afternoon, they forecast thunderstorms. Well, that's only like 45% chance. It is. So. But obviously we don't want to be at the top of Malham Cove in a thunderstorm. So. Yeah. We're hoping we're going to get at least this section of, of the day over before it rains, but we are prepared for rain nonetheless. So just a quick view from up our end. We're just walking down, we're going to go by the lakes and the, the steps start right down, probably about another mile down there, I'd say. Um, yeah, so we're going to spend a little bit of time at the bottom just admiring it because it's absolutely stunning down yeah. there. Um, and it's a lot quieter this year. Last year we came on a Sunday in the middle of the day and it we was We can count packed, four people so. on our hands. There's more cows than people. Exactly, whereas last year there was hundreds of people. It was very Probably busy. thousands of people. Very busy. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Last year we were here. It was all hustle and bustle. Kids playing in the water. It's like a whole new world. It's so peaceful. It's like a completely different experience. There were literally people laying all along here, people all in there, people all up there, people all up there. Massive people down here. We've said good morning to four people. This is where things got a little bit tricky. But we're taking the opportunity whilst whoa! Oh my god, hang on, bear with. <laughs> whilst no one is here, we're gonna quickly Sneak peek, oh there's one person. Sneak peek round here. Oh, bear with me. Oh, oh my God, woo! And have a little look and get our photos. So last time we came here, there was actually people, what's it called, rock climbing? Yeah. Up here. We're not doing that today. We're not doing that today, <laughs> thank you very much. We're just but admiring. Also, this was all water. Yeah, this was all water we were saying, wasn't we? Like all of this. I was stepping across rocks to not fall in to get a picture. I wonder why. It's just drier, I suppose, this year, I don't know. It's so quiet, and you can just hear the water trickling in the background. Obviously, I don't think you can hear it, but. Everyone got their pictures? Yep. 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 Next stop. 400 steps. Yeah, that's true. Up there. Can Josh. we not just film me having a no, nervous breakdown? No, 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 no. If you have a nervous breakdown, we're filming it. <laughs> As well. <laughs> Let's do this. So it begins. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting all of them. Onwards, troops. Up we march. <laughs> so I'll just say that's about 50 we've done so far. I think that's probably wishful thinking. <laughs> All I can say is though, when I recorded these guys going up, there's like a little path to the side of the steps. Don't do that, it's much harder. It's it very slippery much underfoot. Harder. <laughs> as you can see, it's not very flat. Well, these bits are flat, but as you get to trying to do this about falling over, bear with me. Like these aren't flat surfaces at all. And they're a lot bigger than the yeah. we've got to, so. This is what we've done so far. We've got a long way to go. Bravo. <laughs> Quick rest break. How are you feeling? Wobbly. Wobbly. <laughs> Sharon? Sharon, you got a stick in your bag. That's our Shh, wand. That's my... Oh, that's the surprise. Oh. It's not much of a surprise, it's sticking out your bag. Well, no, I couldn't get it in the bag. <laughs> it's a bit of a turly one. <laughs> Not 
far to go. No, I mean they're right on the edge. No, they're not. Just don't look that way. <laughs> Sharon, you're going to have to come back down. Josh wants a photo. I think looking up the steps though, the top is there. I think we're well over halfway already. I think we're smashing this. Wow. Look at this Malham Cove there. Right down here, the little path and the river that we were just at. And then if you look up there, the path that we walked down from the village of Malham. I think we're doing really well at this. We're nearly at the top already. This is actually a lot easier than I expected. We were at Bolton Abbey yesterday and some of the hills there were absolutely horrendous. You were up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. That vlog's already on the channel. So if you haven't seen that, go and give that a watch. But uh, we're almost at the top of this in no time at all. Mum's not enjoying this in the slightest, are you, Mum? Well, it's not that bad. I just like someone that side. And I'm the person. Yeah, but you keep just bouncing off. <laughs> just a long shank. Whoops, there. Yeah. <laughs> We've conquered the steps. Congratulations. Mm. Give everyone stuff a pat on the head. Well done. Help! Oh, Go on. on. Want help? No? Leave me hanging. <laughs> okay. Left me hanging. Left her on her Sharon, do you need a hand? No. no she's going to do it elegantly. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> right. oh. Oh, thanks, Imagine if I'd let go of you. Well, they would have kept me in though. Look at this. Oh, that was worth it. It was. We've got the uh, limestone pavement and the views to enjoy now. So this was and actually a filming location. It was, it? it was a filming location for Harry Potter and the uh, Deathly Hallows. Hmm. Love it. Obviously they um, got helicopters and got lifted up they didn't do this that's stairs. cheating that's absolute cheating not like us peasants walking can you imagine upstairs. carrying all that film equipment upstairs it was bad enough carrying this fair point wasn't quite expecting it to look like this no not all all in and outy and different levels and stuff i don't know if i want to go on the edge because you know how far down that is we're on the moon i'm on the moon I'm on the moon look at me mum Oh, look at the shards look, of light. Look at these. The yes, the shards of light. I hope the camera's picking that up because that looks stunning. This is what it looks like up here. You've got to be careful of all these crags. Find your route around. It's a bit like a maze. Right at the edge now, looking down. What an amazing view. There's the steps. I'm impressed with you. Look at you standing on a rock. Right on the edge. Standing on a rock, looking over the precipice. There's the steps that we walked up. That's the path that we walked from the village. Absolutely amazing. What a beautiful day for it as well. Look at this. Right, all of our photos for the gram done. We're now walking over the limestone pavement towards the back a little bit more because then it's onwards to Gordow Scar. Nice balancing, Josh, nice balancing. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it helps us reach more people just like you. Just keeps going on and on. One of the ones with two sons, because it's really hot up here now. <laughs> We're a lot closer to it, aren't we? Oh, it's like an oven. Oh. We've just mastered that walk thing there. Apparently there's a calf down there. It's like a takeaway thing. It's like a takeaway thing. So I'm hoping to get a nice ice cold drink. Also, what's really handy is we got to the top here and we were like, the hell way do we go now? I've just fallen down the thing. There's a sign. There's right a there. sign. Tell us. So thank you for whoever put that there. This could end absolutely terrible. <laughs> In you go. Bit of lubricant. <laughs> well, we're going to use the gate. Oh. Don't trip over. Come round the corner, they're eating Skittles. Bloody cheek heard, of it. I just heard from behind the wall. Do you want a Skittle? Do you want a Skittle? Like, they're eating Skittles. Bloody Skittles cheek of it. Um, wow. That is high. If you look in the far distance, this is, I'll try not to lose that focus. The stairs up here, round here, went up here, all the way along here. This is where we've just all walked along over the little 
knobbly bit and now we're going all the way up here which is very high we just appreciate uh -huh. all the little birds that are flying around oh yeah i've just looked up and noticed them all there's loads of them can't see them now here we go i have no idea what they are they're i think the camera can pick them up just about there's loads of them they're all diving and getting the bug oh rather you'd be diving than me we were just literally walking up here and the Jason turned on the left and was like, wow. So what would you class that, a valley? It's a valley, yeah. I think the moral of the story is when you're walking that way, don't forget to take a minute and just turn around and appreciate what's behind you. Because yeah, because you've got the valley there. And then you've got that over there. So the gate, I think, is locked. Yes. yes. We've got to go over the steps. Here we go. Onto our main scary road. Oh, they're quite sturdy. Yeah? That's good to know. Ahoy! <laughs> oh my god, please don't snap. Please don't snap. Please don't snap. Oh, god. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're all over. But we saw this at the top of Malham Cove as well. This would have been the old crossing point. You'd have walked up these rocks over the wall there and prayed as you went over the other side. <laughs> now we've got a wooden step set instead. The good news is we thought we'd got to go that way up the road, but it's not. The footpath is literally just there. We found some friends. <laughs> Hi guys. They're a bit undecisive. Oh, okay. See you later guys. <laughs> a little bit of a closer shot of you guys. Tonight's entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, sheep. Oh, what? Where's your crowd? You scared them all off, Sharon. You did. I'm not surprised. So this is nice, flat, grassy landscape here. We're just walking towards Gordale. There's a refreshment outpost, apparently. And then up to Gordale Scar, which we're assuming is in that gap there somewhere. I feel like we're literally the only ones doing the walk this way round. We've seen so many people going the opposite way to us. But we've decided that we chose right because those steps are a lot easier. This hill is steep and it's very long. We're not fit enough for that. <laughs> and we're going down, so that's all good. What an absolutely genius idea to park a refreshment truck right here. So we just stopped for a quick drink, some light refreshments. Just talking to a very nice pair of ladies that have been for a swim in Janet's Foss, which is where we're heading later on. Hopefully we're going to take a little dip. Yeah, at least we paddle. We didn't bring our swimming gear, but we'll, we'll stick figure, our toes in. We'll figure it out. And now we're walking up the footpath towards Gordale Scar, which is like a gorge carved into the limestone. So this should be pretty spectacular. Yeah. This is already pretty spectacular and we haven't even got around the corner yet, actually into Gordale Scar. Look at that. So just like Malham Cove, there's a little beck running down from Gordale Scar. Gordale Beck. It's really tripping my eyes out, trying to walk along here, but then looking at all this, you're like, mm. <laughs> Just saying, it doesn't look real because it's kind of hazy where it's really humid. It looks like it's just a facade, like a movie set. Take a look at this. How stunning is this? Oh my God. See, I've not seen any pictures of this because I didn't want it to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we uh, head up this way and get a little bit closer? Yeah. yeah. Every corner we turn, this just gets better. There's actually a second waterfall up higher from this angle. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've decided on here, this looks like a face. Two eyes, nose, mouth. I'm gonna get, try and get a perspective of how deep this gorge is. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. It's very deep. It is very deep. Let me see if I can... This is me, you know, I'm very tall. Can I add? Wow. <laughs> well, that is absolutely amazing. I'm actually going to say, I think I prefer that to Malham Cove. I don't know about anyone else. Yeah, that's pretty spectacular. So I, think, that. I think the waterfalls make it. But um, yeah, we think that's better than Malham Cove. So we walked up this path. We're actually going to take the low path back, which, yeah, it goes next to Gordale Brook, which is here. There's all little trickling waterfalls. and I mean, nothing like that's in Gordale Scar, but it's still pretty.
It's actually a little campsite here. What a lovely place to camp. Look at that. Imagine that view in the morning when you wake up. So we've made it to Janet Foss. Just round the corner. Totally nearly slipped. Or twice. Right, this is really slippery, guys. Sharon. <laughs> oh. Sharon. Oh. Right. Oh. We're nearly there. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh. Oh, nice. And it just goes on all the way down. So this is called Janet's Foss because Janet is the queen of the local fairies and she lives in a cave behind the waterfall. People come down and have a good little swim in here. We was planning on it but I don't think we're going to do it today but it does look really, really inviting. Anyway, enough chilling. Onwards through this little bit. Now this bit looks really nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And yes, you're eating Skittles. I caught you ready. anything. Mm -hmm. so listen to them sounds. So relaxing. You go and stand on the fallen tree. I'll take a picture of you. Um. No, I'm good. Okay. You can tell that you think that the Queen of the Fairies live here because it's literally. What was the word you said? I said it's got a very fairy tale vibe to it. It's like it's a created land. It doesn't yeah. feel real. Just making our way back to Malham and uh, the sky doesn't look very happy. Like it's been on our side all day, but it's a coming. So we made it. We did it. We are back at Malham. We're back at the visitor centre, back at the car. We've just treated ourselves to a coffee and a sausage roll, which needed. <sighs> all them calories we burnt, so put it back on. And it didn't rain. No, it's on We've our side. We've been blessed today because they they did forecast thunderstorms, and so far nothing. We'd like to give a massive shout out to all of our patrons and our YouTube members for their continued support of our content. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking on our faces in the circle, or you can watch more of our vlogs by clicking on the rectangle. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.